Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another Simply Answers quick tip, and this one is about changing your computer's default password. There are lots of times that you want to change your password. Maybe your roommate found it out, or maybe you're checking it in for service. If you notice here on our service check-in form, we have this field about writing down your password. And we would need that just in case we need to run any kind of administrative applications on your computer. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to come down here to System Preferences. And here under the tab System, we're going to go to Accounts. Now you can see here, I've got a Simply Mac account, and I have the button over here that says Change Password. So I'm going to type in my original password, and now I can change it to something different. When you start typing something in, we'll say type in Apple, you see this little key here on the side. You can click that, and something called the Password Assistant will pop up. And basically, this password assistant is there to help you to create a quality, hard-to-break password. Select a type of password, say something with letters and numbers in it, and then this is a suggestion that it gives you. And it even lets you know the quality of this password to let you know this one's going to be hard to crack. Now, if you don't want to use this assistant, that's okay. Just type in your own password. And then hit the button, Change Password. You'll see a dialog that says the password for your login keychain will be changed to your new password. This is good. This keychain is something on your computer that is storing all of your passwords whenever you type them in. Whether it be in Safari, whether you type it in for your mail account, it just keeps track of them so you don't have to type them in the second time. So we'll just say OK. And you're all done. If you want to test out your new password, you can click this little lock down here in the corner which asks you to type in your password before you can make any changes. So I will. And there we go. My new password works.